Welcome back to our Florida Powerboat Club YouTube channel. This is Stu Jones, and I want to thank everybody for continuing to follow us and subscribe and tell all your friends because we have hit magical numbers celebrating 10 years since we launched our channel here on YouTube back in May of 2010. And we are now looking at about 26,000 subscribers and an average viewing audience of 16 to 17,000 viewers a day. And that's fantastic. And I want to thank all you guys for taking a second to give us your comments and share how much you love our channel, especially during these times with this coronavirus uh, lockdown. You guys are at home waiting for more content and we want to be the ones to be able to deliver that to you. And we are presenting today episode 10 with complete coverage of our Key West Poker Run 2019 series celebrating 27 years of this signature Florida Powerboat Club Poker Run event. So before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors pictured here, we'd like to recognize all of these Key West 2019 feature sponsors as seen here on our official event masthead. This is the artwork for our official souvenir t-shirts, posters, and banners. These sponsoring partners play a vital role and it's through their support that Florida Powerboat Club can produce this signature Key West Poker Run event. And to get everybody back up to speed, let's just quickly recap back from episode nine as we were joining the Florida Powerboat Club members at this huge checkpoint at the Faro Blanca Resort in Marathon where everybody was getting fuel and taking advantage of those two lunch stops at Lighthouse Grill and the Courtyard Marriott. Then we got back out on the water for a continuous flow of high performance hardware and beautiful ladies as we picked up that bonus poker card on the checkpoint yacht which was sponsored by Nextera Energy Marketing once again a 102 foot Mayora where dozens of boats came up one by one to rendezvous with our beautiful FPC girls Alyssa and Mary before turning the boats and heading south to Key West. So spending just a few more minutes here at Faro Blanca Resort as we join the teams who have just fueled up and here's Alex Pratt and his big crew on this 450 Nortec center console quad Mercury racing 400 hours. Hey ladies how you doing? And with teams like this who came all the way from Michigan others from Canada, from Ohio, and all over Europe, there's no better place to be right now than in the Florida Keys having fun with your boating friends. It's late in the afternoon here at Faro Blanca Resort, and the numbers of boats are dwindling down because everyone's come in, had their lunch, and fueled up. A lot of us still at the fuel pumps. In fact, there I am right there in Project 1080, just getting a little squirt of 90 non-ethanol before we head back out on the waterways. As we catch up here with Matt Migliazzo from Kansas and his 38 foot Don Z ZX model. That's the one with the big cabin and we don't see too many of those around anymore. Of course, we see a lot of ZRs, but they built very few of these and this one is in perfect condition. And you're gonna get used to seeing a lot of older boats that are in perfect condition. That Donzi we just saw was a 1999, and Howard Bindit's Apache here is a 1994 model, 41 foot Apache, race pleasure, completely restored. In fact, it's his second year in a row that he and his wife Amy have joined us on this Florida Powerboat Club event all the way from Michigan. They had the boat trailer down to join us, and they did something cool this year that I really think more of you should try. They started on the Wednesday run, but they spent a night in Gilbert's in Key Largo, waited for the Thursday group to come down and continue the poker run with that 110 mile trek from Key Largo through Marathon. And now they're gonna take this Apache offshore and let her do her magic, gobbling up those four to six foot waves on the outside. And with our drone here, we're gonna get a closer look at the fuel dock. Looks like uh, Louis Sotero and his Donzi just got his fuel out of the way. I think they're just finishing up my cigarette. Kevin in the fountain and Scott in the cafe racer are still waiting for some fuel and here's Sebastian and his crew on this Nortec, our European team and they're gonna love pulling up to the pump they're getting fuel for about half what they pay in Europe I'm guessing and this can be a little stressful sometimes waiting for fuel when you know you still have 50 miles to go but remember that the weather is pretty good now the days are shorter you know it's dark by about 5:30, 5:45, so it's important to keep your program going and if you do need fuel and you don't have a lot of time and you've only got 50 miles to go so you don't have to top up all the way you can squirt in you know 50 60 100 gallons whatever 
uh, depending on your situation. Now for me in the Project 1080, uh, I was kind of in a tough spot because I had used the boat on the day earlier for the Wednesday poker run. I came all the way to Marathon, turned around, went all the way back to Key Largo, left it in Key Largo for the cigarette rendezvous, and then drove it again back from Key Largo to Marathon. Now, I know I would have been fine if I just went offshore at Marathon and took the coastal route down, but uh, that brings me to my next subject. You know, here we are uh, with about 10 or 15 boats out here that are anxious to take the backwater route. In other words, they want to go up through the Saddle Bunch Keys and on the north side of the Florida Keys because there was some concern about the winds today, which were out of the northeast, uh, that were you know, pushing big seas on the coastal side, on the ocean side. So uh, a lot of teams decided it was probably the better way to go and I'm not so sure that we made the right call on that because the winds are constantly shifting here and what you heard at 1 p.m. and now it's 4 p.m. those sea conditions could be substantially different. My suggestion to anybody is to get out there and marathon go through the seven mile bridge give it a shot if you don't like what you see come back in through by a Honda then you can take that other route which is much farther and requires a substantial amount of navigation so it's not my preferred course that's for sure. So as we bid farewell now to Faro Blanca Resort, uh, we'll be back here again not too long. Some of us on the way back from Key West and some of us in January for the winter poker run. But meantime, let's get out and chase some boats offshore. And we're catching up now with Bill Robbins and his crew on the center of attention, this 39-foot cigarette GTS center console, triple Merc 350 Verados. And Bill has been in the club a long time, a seasoned pro. Got himself a very sexy crew on board today, as he often does. Says that he attends every year and he wouldn't miss the Key West Poker Run. And as his video bio says, he loves meeting new friends with common interests. Well, he certainly came to the right place. Bill is from Texas, but he also has a brand new home in Sarasota, and it is just beautiful. And let's say hi to Matt Garland and Kenny Schomp from Kentucky. They're in their 42-foot Mystic Quad Mercury Racing 400Rs team downtown. They are loving the boat. Look at they get to bring all their friends. Not like that skater where they can only bring about five or six. Three times the number of people they could fit on the skater. So this boat's working out fine. And this 41-foot cigarette GTR model becoming very popular with the cigarette crowd. And Elliot and Erica Witzer certainly enjoying theirs. Three years in a row now with this beautiful silver, red, and white trimmed out. Love the graphics. Look at how the water just reflects off the silver graphics on the boat. Just like a floating light show as they cruise here with that landmark seven mile bridge in the background a nicely decked out ride with the girls oh yes well i think that she didn't have enough margaritas at lunchtime guys next time elliot make sure they have about two more drinks and that dcb racing making its mark here on the florida's east coast with more dcbs on our poker runs than ever before mike sands jr and mike senior longtime members of the florida powerboat club with their new 29 DCB Mercury Racing 400 Rs. They bought the boat all the way from Michigan. In fact, it belonged to Burton Kirsten, who we saw in our last episode. He just got himself a new 34 MTI. So the 29 went on the block, and uh, American Custom Marine sold this boat to the Sands. That's right. It went on the block, and it was sold by Mike Knobloch. You see the connection there? Well, I know it's going to get a little bumpy later. I'm just glad they didn't bring Mom Maggie along. And let's welcome back three years in a row for Bruno and Rebecca Perret from Boca Raton, Florida. Actually, they're from Quebec, but they live in Boca Raton now. Team Megawatts is a 39-foot Outer Limits Quad Step uh, Mercury Racing 520s, all completely new motors re-rigged by my buddy Jimmy McIntyre just before they sold it. And they have told me they're very happy with the boat. It runs great, and they maintain it very well. So congratulations, guys. Three years in a row now joining us for Key West. Thanks for your support. Can't wait to see you guys out in the next car rally because when they're not in their utter limits, they're out driving Ferraris. And returning as a sponsor of the Key West Poker Run team, Deep Impact Custom Boats from Miami, Mark and Eileen Fisher in their 399 Deep Impact. Actually, Eileen took the car down today. Quad Mercury Racing 400s on this factory demo and the same power on this 399, which belongs to Ray Aki, Team Hammer Time. And Ray was one of the first to take deliveries of this new style 399, and he says he just loves the boat. And my, how time flies. I think that was in the fall of 2016. It's already 2019 now. He's done this event four years in a row in his 399. And we actually set a new milestone here at this event, 10 registered Deep Impact boats on the Key West Poker Run. Pretty amazing, and what a beautiful machine this center console is. And I know that we have a big photo shoot on the agenda for Saturday, 
when we're going to get all 10 of those deep impacts together and go out in Key West with the helicopter and do a little deep impact lunch run to Stock Island. And I know how much many of you would love to plunk down six or seven hundred thousand dollars on your new 399 model, but Deep Impact also gets trades and they happen to have a 2013 36 foot Deep Impact Sport model. Uh, it's powered by triple Mercury 300 Verados for sale at their factory right now. It's a super clean boat. I saw that the other day when I was at the factory asking only 289,000. It's got a lot of features, great for family boating, fishing, and of course, poker runs. So I'd say give it a closer look if you want to get into poker runs at under 300,000. Check them out online at deepimpactboats.com or give this number a call. And they do have a selection of other pre-owned Deep Impacts on their website. And a quick flyby over Steve Lyman from Arizona. Going, going, gone. And we're going to get a chance now to run with Jeff and Marilyn Whitlock from Alabama and their 42-foot MTI Team Do It. Now, we've seen this boat at a lot of the checkpoints along the way in the last couple episodes, but we finally get a chance to see her running. I think that Jeff sees the helicopter, and hopefully he'll push the throttles down and get this thing spooled up. And she's certainly capable of running at least 140, 150. The boat has some big custom motors. I know they started out as Mercury Racing 1075s, and they've been gone through and built up. So I think it's capable of running at least a buck and a half, no problem. But I think he's just taking it easy, and, you know, there's no problem with that. I think the, the wives don't always want to go fast at the end of the day, and I think that Jeff's just being a smart guy. He doesn't want to get a smack in the side of the head from his wife saying, slow down. So... <laughs> He's doing the right thing. But a big shout out to MTI, who's done an amazing showing here. 36 MTIs on the Key West roster. And I love this 3600 Supercat by Nortec. Frank and Claudia Schielen on board now from Germany, and they made it all the way over here to join us for the poker run. Nice to see them back in the game because they did do a lot of poker runs back 10 years ago or more. Since then, uh, they had a Baja, but then they upgraded to a Sunseeker, which was more of a cruising style boat. Uh, they bought a home in Naples and they kept the Sunseeker there, but I think that they just missed all the fun and this Nortec was the answer to getting back into the game and they're having a blast. And we're gonna catch up with George Ariano now, uh, wife Ann taking the car down, but he's got a new entry to his fleet. It's a 2006 Fountain 42 Poker Run Edition. Let's listen in. And I did a little research and like that DCB we saw earlier, this was an American Custom Marine listing, a 2006 Fountain 42 with Mercury Racing 600s uh, with stage four Whipple kits, a lot of upgraded hardware and a great running boat as you can see. Quite a while back in 04 or 05, we had the very first Poker Run edition on the Key West Run. And let's catch up now with Rick Davies and his 32 foot Doug Wright. He came all the way from New York to join us and uh, running great today. This Doug Wright, not to be confused with the Wright Performance Cat, but Rick is now near completion of a full on restoration. He painted the boat himself at his body shop in Long Island. And back with our teams as we continue south, now catching up with Scott Conrad and his first mate, Dustin, on this 43-foot Midnight Express Open. Team Andiamo on the side of the boat and Team SLT Collection as they registered. That's Sea, Land, and Time, a new business that Scott opened in Fort Lauderdale on Sunrise Boulevard. This 43 Open model is a very popular Midnight Express. We have about four or five of them registered on the Key West Poker Run. And it looks like our helicopter is going to chase these guys down. That's because that's Alan Chase on the left in his Hustler. And we're closing in now on David Gordon in his Nortec 390 Sport Center Console Team Mistreated. And I would have to guess that David is probably celebrating his first anniversary of this one-of-a-kind Nortec because he took delivery last fall in 2018 and made the Key West Poker Run 18 his very first poker run, so that was exactly a year ago. So congratulations, David, and thanks for coming back again. And let's also welcome back Alan and Allison Chase in Chase and Rays, all the way from Oswego, New York, and a 40-foot hustler, Razor. That's a, one of three hustlers altogether on the run. He's got some loud engines. Let's listen in.
their home port being Oswego, New York. They're on the uh, eastern shore of Lake Ontario. It's only about 75 miles from Clayton, New York, where they host the Thousand Islands Poker Run. So, Alan and Allison, well, hopefully we'll see you this summer because it's our plan to get up there and join you guys for that Thousand Island event for our very first time. Hope to see you there. And let's welcome for his very first time Nick Mitchell from Massachusetts in his brand new Fountain 38 Center Console Quad Mercury Racing 400s. It said Heather on the lower third, but Heather did not make it, unfortunately. But lucky for Nick's friends, Brian Behrens and Ed Kelly, they all had a blast, and it was worth that long trip, over 1,500 miles trailing from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, to join us. And talk about coming from a long distance. How about this team? Karsten Melcher from Germany with this 38 Donzi ZR Comp. And these guys have done it year after year. Not like it's their first time. Uh, this uh, Team Germany has attended this event for more than 10 years. And it's not always one boat. Sometimes it's two or three or even four boats. And I want to thank them for their continued loyalty and for bringing so many Europeans to our event year after year. These guys are hardcore boaters and they're great team players. They make incredible team apparel every year and they always give me a new shirt. So thanks guys, I've got quite the collection. Let's listen to these 700s. And it's one more time with Chris and Shelby Mattingly in their big 46-foot Outer Limits Limited Mercury Racing 1075's team, Never Enough. We've seen this boat before with the prior owner up in Destin a few times, and I'm so glad to see that it's found a new home. Taking it easy right now, I saw kind of an unusual rooster tail coming off that number six drive, and I'm guessing they're having just a little bit of trouble right now. And we're going to spend a little bit of time with this 42-foot Mystic, uh, not registered on the run. Uh, we're not quite sure why. It is a club member, but we're going to uh, leave him anonymous at this time. But what a beautiful boat. And it's worth mentioning that Mystic set a record, actually, 11 registered Mystics for the Key West Poker Run. And since then, uh, John Kosker and the Mystic team have come on board as a club sponsor. So thanks to everyone at Mystic. We have new plans for the Mystic owners for Key West 2020. And we're back with Jared and Carrie Harden, who trailered all the way from California with this 2006 39-foot Outer Limits Quattro, completely redone Mercruiser 600s. I love the paintwork, just a great looking boat. What did they like about the run? Well, first of all, it was their first time. They had a lot of fun. They said that camaraderie is the one thing that they like about power boating. And before we say farewell, thank you so much for coming all the way from California. So let's get back with our other camera crew on board the checkpoint yacht. There's Alyssa and Mary. Looks like they're off duty now that they finished all their poker card handoffs by now, I'm assuming. But yes, they are closing up Lunar. That's that 102-foot motor yacht sponsored by Nextera Energy Marketing. And they're probably going to be pulling the hook and heading south, making that final trek into Key West. But uh, they did a great job of handing all the poker cards off. And what do we got here? Oh, looks like we got another boat pulling up. It's Gary and Nancy Robertson. They just got in by the nick of time on Team My Diamond. That's a Nortec 527 powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. And there's Nancy reaching out for her card. Hey, girl. And uh, what a great boat for poker runs. I've enjoyed running on this boat with its previous owners, Mark and Eileen Fisher. And it looks like one more. This is Hans Blix in his Nortec 390 center console. A couple of teams that just made it under the wire for their bonus card on the Lunar Motor Yacht. And I know these guys have been partying all day long and they want to keep going and getting down to Key West. Looks like we got a couple of more boats pulling up, but guys, I think it's probably too late. The captain is up front pulling the anchor and I think they said, no, nah, no, nah, we're going to shut it down. We're on our way because we have some more drinking to do <laughs> as we enjoy this ride. And we're now about eight hours into an all-day yacht party. These guests, of course, uh, joining our club member, Mark Palanchian, uh, who's been in the club for oh, probably more than a decade, but he's also an event sponsor with Nextera Energy Marketing, and they have participated in this card checkpoint routine now for several years. And unfortunately for these Nortec teams and a few others, the yacht captain and all of the crew were already fully engaged in 
getting the anchor pulled and getting this big yacht turned and headed out to the Moser Channel and offshore. They've got about a three hour ride or four hour ride to get to Key West and they want to get there before sunset. So unfortunately these teams were not able to get their bonus card but they're still going to play with a full poker hand when they get to Key West. This is a good point to talk about that next 50 miles as we see that flag blowing hard. It doesn't seem terribly windy over here on the bay side uh, and this is kind of typical weather for this time of year. And I mentioned in our last episode that there are two options when it comes to making it from Marathon down to Key West. But more than 90% of the time, you're always going to want to go offshore. Well, certainly a big yacht like this Lunar is going to go offshore through the seven mile bridge. And then for the last leg, it's about 50 miles. Now, if you want to go on more protected waters, you can. It's through the Saddle Bunch Keys, but it does add a lot of distance to the course, or at least another 15 to 20 miles. But worse yet, there's a lot of tricky navigation on that course, and we don't really recommend it to that many boaters. And back up in the air with our aerial team. Looks like it's Parnell and Wendy Olson uh, making their final leg in that 36 concept. And what a great day for a ride. These two boats not registered with the run, but we think it's a nice shot and uh, want to shout out to some of our sponsors. On the left, that's a 35 statement. And on the right, that's a sensation. Guys, we'd love you to register with us next year. Here's the phone number and the website. Please join us. And now we're going to catch up with Ramon and Katja Vera in their 35-foot Bulletproof. That's uh, a new center console uh, that Ramon built uh, just recently. Twin Mercury Racing 400Rs. Guys, where's your life jackets? Uh, violation of club guidelines. And uh, we're going to let you go this one time. But, guys, you need to wear them, especially the king of the world up front with his arms out in the air. But I'm going to uh, end this on a positive note and thank Ramon for doing a great job on the uh, marine mat flooring and decking he did on my Project 1080 cigarette. Uh, we pulled this clip from a year earlier, a year and a half ago, when he did the work on the boat, Project 1080, and all of that marine mat up on the forward deck has been just a wonderful addition and upgrade to the boat, uh, from easy boarding to you know going up on the front for poker cards. I recommend it for new boats and for just upgrades if you want to make your boat more user-friendly. So thanks to Ramon for a great job on my Project 1080. And just one more reminder to all you guys, we need to see life jackets. This is part of our safety guidelines. And normally I would fully disqualify this boat. So I'm gonna give you guys a pass this time, but not next year. When you come back, we wanna see life jackets on everybody. And what I would call the money shot as we cross over here with the Seven Mile Bridge and catching some Nortex as they pass through from the Bayside out into the main channel, gonna turn and head south now. Starting off with Oyston Tenold, who came all the way from Norway, as he always does. And he and his crew are enjoying this Nortec 3600. It's powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. And another Nortec and another European team. Johan Andersen and his Nortec 390 Quad 400Rs. What a beast. And same boat, different power. This is Jeff Tomlinson with this Midwest Boating Center 390 center console. Triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. What a great setup and what a beautiful paint scheme. And many would consider this to be the flagship of the Nortec fleet, but indeed it is really not. The flagship would be the 80 Roadster, but this 56 is certainly a very popular model now. This one's powered by twin Cummins diesels. They brought one last year, same boat that had actually four Cummins diesels. And as you can see, as we close in, plenty of room for all your friends. We've got the Double R team on board and some of the factory team from Nortec High Performance. And we want to thank them once again for being a sponsor and joining us as they have for years now, over 20 years sponsoring this Key West run. And another of the Nortec team, Andre Flotman, who lives in Cape Coral. And I always see him at all the Nortec parties. Terry Sobo and Chrissy Sobo on board with them today in this Nortec 390 Sport. It's got triple Mercury Racing 400s. This boat has all kinds of features, including those double row forward seating. Well, we had a whole bunch of Nortex. Now it's a formula. Francis Marfiak from Connecticut as he gets some beautiful air on this 35 formula team. Yeah, baby. And that's exactly what they're saying right now as they plow through the wake of that big, heavy 56-foot Nortec ahead of them. And now they're in nice, clean water to get great pictures. And let's welcome back Tonka Simpson, uh, two years in a row now in Team Drinking Fountain, 38-foot fountain center console. Thanks to this crew for coming all the way from Bermuda. 
And we finally caught up with Randy Kent from Missouri. Uh, he represents Midwest Boating Center. It's a boat dealership on Lake of the Ozarks. He's partners with a former club member, Marvin Duffner, and they sell Nortex for the most part, but just more recently, they brought on these Polini Marine Cats as one of their lines. But the boat that Randy designed is slightly different than the 34 you would buy directly from Polini Marine. This is actually a 37, and it's got some modifications to the hull. It's powered by Mercury Racing 400Rs, and it is a great running boat. As you see, he gets into the rough chop here, running offshore from Marathon down to Key West. Now, Randy's other company is Marine Concepts, also based in Missouri, but they make all kinds of high-end boat covers, including open-air covers that would cover your boat lift, but the special, whoa, there we go. That's the money shot. Uh, the specialty item that they're going to have in Key West in the Pokerun Village is their ultimate boat cover. It's called the World's Best Boat Cover. We'll see more of it when we get to Key West. And it looks like the chopper is going to slow down and just kind of hover, waiting out this cat. Looks like it's Oyston Tenold again from Norway in his Nortec 3600 Super Cat. He's taking it easy now, but with these 1350s, this boat rocks. And another one of our Canadian Nortec teams, Pierre and Megan Brosseau from Canada, got a home in Cape Coral as well. The Stooges is a 390 Sport, but look closely though, it's powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. They were waiting for the motors and were very uncertain that they were gonna make the poker run, but at the last minute, Nortec Factory pulled through for them, got them rigged and ready, and here they are having a blast. Back in Canada, Pierre and Megan run a marina in Midland, Ontario. It's called Central Marine. It's on beautiful Georgian Bay, and uh, Jackie and I visited them a few summers back with the kids. And a couple of flybys, Jesse and Stephanie Newman in Salty Wife. And here's Kyle Weiss in Split and Tens. And we finally get a chance to see Brian Metcalf running fast here in his 40 MTI team, Native Sun. And look at, he's got that hot sun behind him. What a perfect shot. All the way from California, two years in a row. That's a 6,000 mile road trip back and forth. Brian, thank you so much for joining us. And time to slow things down just a little bit, let's say to about 18, 20 knots. <laughs> As we get on board here, the Lunar Mayora Motor Yacht, sponsored by Nextera Energy Marketing. Of course, they have done their assignment for the day. They've been on board since about 7 a.m. where they boarded at Grove Harbor Marina. Let's go up and visit on the bridge. All right, guys. Where are we going? West. How fast are we going? They've just had a great front row seat to the poker card handoff and there's still plenty of action to enjoy that's out there on the course. It's been a constant parade of high performance hardware and we'll wrap it up with Craig Hargraves and his 42 foot MTI spooled up support. Well, as we always do for this final segment uh, on this last leg into Key West, we like to spend time on this Team Nextera Energy sponsored yacht party. Uh, there's all together about 30 people on the boat enjoying this beautiful day. They couldn't have had it any better. A front row seat to the poker run. Uh, it's a multi-cabin boat, five-cabin boat. Let's talk about this 102-foot Mayora. It's a 2001 model, but it's got some big power. These are V16 MTU engines. 1800 horsepower aside with a cruising speed of about 20 knots now even though this is a boat that's about 18 or 19 years old it's been very well maintained and for those of you who are interested in you know looking at the yachting lifestyle or back up to your power boating lifestyle you know a yacht like this is easily 10 million dollars brand new but once they've been used uh, the prices come down substantially and there's a big market on used yachts right now and I think there's an opportunity for some club members to get together. And as I've advertised in the past, Florida Fractional Club could easily be the management company to put four or five owners in a big boat like this, and it would share the cost of ownership and maintenance and a tremendous savings overall. And when you consider how little you'll actually use the yacht, it's a very practical way to gain access to a yacht without having to buy one yourself. So let's thank Team Nextera for providing us with this nice checkpoint yacht for the day. Let's fast forward to Key West. Of course, we will have more aerial footage and uh, helicopter time in our next episode, but I wanted to fast forward to Key West because I had to show you guys just how amazing this Poker Run Village scene is here on Thursday evening. Remember, all of the boats have arrived now into the Key West Harbor, not to mention Stock Island. But here at the Poker Run Village, there's just 
literally hundreds, sometimes thousands of people passing through with amazing displays from all of our manufacturing sponsors here. Uh, it's an annual tradition at the Conk Republic Seafood Company, but it really just keeps getting better because all of the manufacturers just want to up their game every year. And that's really what everyone has done here with great lighting and the newest power boats of every description. And of course, Mercury Racing, our presenting sponsor with their mobile marketing rig on site, including that brand new Mercury Racing 450R. Plenty of souvenir items on site that you can take home. And of course, entertainment. Well, you know, this is a Florida Powerboat Club. We wouldn't let you guys down, would we? For our third year in a row, we featured the Key West Body Painting Expo and it's exciting to see that more participants are joining this event than ever before. Of course, we never have any trouble getting any local ladies to come by and get painted. And Florida Powerwood Club, along with our sponsors, take care of all of the costs of producing the contest, as well as providing some substantial prize money for the top three winners. But I don't think it's about the money for most of these girls. They just want to come out here and have fun. And uh, I do want to thank Hector and his gal Mika there and along with their artistic staff for coming out. They've done this now three years in a row for the club, and I think it's a great show for something that is truly a Key West tradition because if you come here during Bike Week or Fantasy Fest, this is the kind of thing that goes on on you know virtually every street corner and in every bar. So we're just following the uh, Key West tradition, and I think it's a great fit for our event. Well, guys, I hope that was just enough uh, entertainment to, for one show to give you an idea of what you can expect on our next show, which is episode 11, with feature coverage of Florida Powerwood Club's Key West Poker Run 2019. After 27 years, guys, it just keeps getting better, and I want to thank you for watching. I'm glad you're here with us on YouTube, especially during these tough times as we weather out this terrible storm. It's called coronavirus, and it's a pandemic that we need to beat. Meanwhile, keep watching us here on the Florida Powerboat Club channel. Be sure to hit subscribe and that notification bell so you get all of the updates every time a new episode is released. We're going to keep them coming, guys, episode 11 next week. And meanwhile, if you're thinking about joining the Florida Powerboat Club or maybe attending one of our upcoming poker runs, our next event is in July. It's the Bahamas Poker Run. All of this information is on our club website at flpowerboat.com. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club or on Twitter and these Instagram pages. This is Stu Jones, president of the Florida Powerwood Club, along with our video producer, Ryan McCoy, at the FPC Studios in Pompano Beach, Florida. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you on the next one. If you do get a chance to get out boating, remember to be safe, respect your fellow boater, and remember, guys, wear those life jackets. Take care now. Be safe out there. These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors pictured here, we'd like to recognize all of these Key West 2019 feature sponsors as seen here on our official event masthead. This is the artwork for our official souvenir t-shirts, posters, and banners. These sponsoring partners play a vital role and it's through their support that Florida Powerboat Club can produce this signature Key West Poker Run event.